We are currently standing in front of an RV that doesn't exist. <laughs> Yet. It is a prototype. Yeah. So this is the 382 RK, which means what? Rear kitchen. Which is one of Leslie's favorite floor plans. A little too long for me. I Because rear kitchen, you're generally going <laughs> said, over 40 said feet. no woman ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Alliance brought this prototype out here during the rally so that we can walk through it and check it out. This is going to be available pretty soon. They're, yeah. they're working on production of this thing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to walk through it. We're going to take you with us and make sure that you leave us a comment and let us know what you like about sure. it, what you don't like about it, and um, if it might be the right RV for you. Well, when you first walk into the 382 RK, you can see that the seating arrangement is is nice. Yes. It is. You got some of the seating that's facing toward the TV, and then you got some over here in case you got some company, which is very nice. You got some storage up here, storage above the TV. Nice big TV, fireplace down here. It's uh, it's not your typical like you know normal Alliance fireplace that would have storage back here just because you have a half bath back here. So you lose your your fireplace storage that you would get in some of the other paradigm models and then back here of course because it's an rk mm -hmm. is the rear kitchen my fave what do you think i love this floor plan yeah <laughs> what do you love the most about it i can't pinpoint one <laughs> because i love the rear kitchen i love the three-sided seating i love the mid bedroom i've always been a fan of mid bedroom and the front bath because you get such a big bathroom yeah um yeah, your typical seating over here too. So you have your, your triple triple facing seating. So you have plenty of room for hosting guests or having a, a get together or whatever. And then the kitchen is not in the way of that either. It's back there. Yeah. So people got to go get a drink, get a snack, whatever. Yeah. They're over there. You could even probably throw up like a card table over here to play games and hang out. So this is a good, good space and a good coach for if you want to do some entertaining. Yes. Yeah. Has a good size uh, pantry in here. Lights yes, up when I'm, you open the door. The nice and deep. Lots of cabinet space in there. I love this elevated fridge freezer. If you notice, yeah, the it is off the floor a little, a little bit there. Off the ground. I love that. That would be where Scout would live if <laughs> and, this was our egg. And why? Because it faces the TV and Scout watches TV. Yeah, it's nice and deep back in there. It would be a little bit of a of a cumbersome deal for you to get him out of there. Well, I have to get on a stool even to get them out of the one in ours. So yeah. I would probably need a chair over a stool, but I, I would make it happen. Yeah, and you can see that that would face the TV, so he would have optimal viewing right there. He lives above our TV now, but in this, in this model, he definitely wouldn't fit in there. It's just not deep enough, so that wouldn't work. Although that is good storage for like, you know, movies or blankets or whatever you might need there. And a little bit of storage up here again, but that wouldn't be deep enough for for Scout. Uh, yeah. Scout needs some more space than that. That one back there is going to be deep enough and tall enough so we could put his lights in there. And then you share the outlet so that he would have power on up there. Lots of uh, space back here. Lots of light back here because of all the big windows. Mm -hmm. um, you have uh, the, the pull down MCD shades in all these windows with the uh, blackout shades. Yes. You got a nice big, you know, Barn, yeah, barn style sink. sink right there. Lots of storage under here. Then you got your, of course, you got your residential stove and you got your microwave, which I don't think this one is a convection. I think it's just a regular, regular, regular micro. And you got the soft clit, uh, soft closed hinges on all of the cabinets and all the drawers. So those are going to close real soft for you. And the magnets are really, really tight. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about that, that stuff coming open on travel day. These windows are the same that they use in all these, these atrium windows. In regular or in other brands, that window will stop right there. But in the Alliance, they've dropped those windows down. Yep. Even down here and over here, they've dropped those windows down to give you more light. More light always makes it feel bigger. like it's bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Just like they do in all the Alliances, they have the uh, seamless slides right here. No carpet, so you don't worry about your pets messing that up. And you don't have those pesky little lips right here that raise up that you bash your feet on or yeah. you trip over. You got the Kensington Collection furniture, which is furniture. the same furniture we have. Yeah, same furniture that they put in all the paradigms, which is which is really nice. Yeah, I love it. You still have the entry hall closet, which I like. It's a little bit smaller than ours because of the layout, but still decent sized closet to hang. Yeah. And great storage for there. Very nice. Control panel. 
very easily located right there by the door so yep. that's where all your controls are going to be high enough to where your little kitties aren't going to get into it yeah so that's good what's behind door number two uh, half bath. <laughs> <laughs> i love it yeah so you got the half bath here so you don't have to share your bathroom with guests you got your epoxy poured sink right there. They're going with some new black and white veined colored epoxy poured countertops, which is Love awesome. It. You got a little bit of storage in here for your towels and washcloths and whatnots. And then behind the mirror, you got a medicine cabinet, so you can store some stuff back there. A little bit of storage down here under the sink. And a very tall ceiling in here with a fan. So you got the shoe cubby like you do in, in most other paradigms also. And then we come upstairs and get into the bedroom. Yeah. This is nice. I like the mid-bedrooms. Yeah. This will accommodate a RV king. It's got the built-ins over there. You still get a cubby like we have in ours. Yeah, so if you got a CPAP, we're going to put your cell phone there up there. There is an outlet there, so it'll plug it in. Yep, there's an outlet down here also. You can uh, charge your phone while you're in here or whatever. Yep. A couple little windows on both sides of the bed. And you got the window back there to let in some light. Another window over on this side. You have the, um, storage, the storage bench. bench right here. Of course, there's always storage under the bed. Yep. You got a pretty decent sized dresser, dresser right there Still and some the storage. storage. Yeah, very nice. Little Smart TV. TV, which is nice. You got the barn sliding door leading into the bathroom. Which I love. This is a wonderful bathroom. This is love nice. It. Yeah. I need it. And again, with the uh, black and white veined epoxy mm -hmm. poured countertops, you have a little bit of storage back there in the medicine cabinet. I'm loving the window on both sides nice. of the medicine cabinet, which lets a lot of light in here because yeah. the bathrooms typically don't get a ton of light. You have your residential shower again with your little teak uh, stool right there, the soft closed toilet, and then wait, wait, there's some storage there behind you. What's there? There is. I love this. Big storage back there. It's, like a it's your linen stuff. closet. Yeah. Yeah. And there's not any right here, and we're about to show you why. This is my dream in here. <laughs> if anything, I could live in here. Look at this. Get inside. <laughs> Spread your wings. Well, I'm, I'm not very big, but... Look at this. Look. So much room for activities. <laughs> activities. Here's your washer-dryer prep if you want to wash your dryer. You yep. have uh, hanging storage back there in the back with some shelving for some cubbies. Great you have a storage. laundry chute right here. Again, that's on a magnet. And uh, yeah, a bunch of space up here, some shelf space up here. You can even shove a little so bit of something, something back there. Yeah. Yeah, but that is huge. Yes. Huge. This is fabulous. Love it. Bye. Okay. <laughs> a lot of people worry about the weight capacity on these benches now. I weigh about 180 pounds, and I know that we have some allies out here that weigh a lot more than that, and I've talked to some of them, and they have no problem sitting on their teak bench without it busting out of the wall. That's always a concern when you're drilling these mm -hmm. things into these into these RV walls, and you're like, man, is this going to hold Support 200 pounds? Thing. It does. Well, that's it for the 382RK. What do you think? You want one? <laughs> <laughs> well this is we just have to find out if it can carry our stuff because we didn't look at the carry capacity yet so we don't know well and things can still change in production this is a prototype so yeah. this one is not out yet none of the specs that's why we haven't talked about any of the specs or anything on this because it's a prototype, it's a prototype and all that stuff can final. change we'll leave a link down in the description to alliance rv so yeah. you can go on there so once this rig is out to the public and they have all the specs you can go on that website and check all that stuff and see if this coach is right for you and i believe it came in at 41 feet yeah, about 41 feet. I think we do feet. know that. Yeah, it's 41 feet. Yeah, but um, we like it. I love it. We're not getting it, but we like it. <laughs> if you love me, you'd get it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Um, anyway, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about the 382 RK yeah. and whether you like it or not. And uh, maybe uh, it will be one of your future coaches. You'll have to let me come visit it. Because he's not going to buy it for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll stick around for a few <laughs> seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye.